Let's look at the different ways we can export out a frame from within a sequence here inside of Premiere Pro. So the first thing we need to do is find a frame that we would like to export. So let's say I'm really liking this frame just here. We go up to the program panel just here, and there's a series of buttons running along the bottom. The one we are looking for is this little camera icon just here. It's called Export Frame, and the keyboard shortcut is Shift E. If you don't see this camera icon just here, the plus sign in the bottom right corner, the button editor, click on that, find that little icon, and then you can just drag that down here like so. But I'll just cancel out of here for now. So we found the frame we want to export. Let's just hit that little export frame icon just there. Brings up a little dialog box. You can give this a name. I'll just run with the rough default here. Format. Let's just uh, choose JPEG for now, but here are all the other different options you can choose, DPX, pings, etc. So let's just run with JPEG. I'll just pop it out onto the desktop. Also note guys, I won't demo this, but you can tick this box, um, import into project. So that way, having exported the graphic, it will be immediately imported back into your project as well, which is very nice. So let's pop out that JPEG onto the desktop. There it is just there. Double click to open that up. There it is, very nice. Okay, so let's scrub along further in my timeline just here because I've created a second example just here. So this one here is the same video I used earlier, but this time I've added a little transparency. So with it selected, you can see in the effect controls panel just here, I've actually added a mask and I've applied some feathering to that as well. So that's why, although this looks like it's fading to black, it's actually fading to transparency. So let's export that out and see what we get. So hit the same icon as before, export frame. Let's choose a JPEG again, but we all know that a JPEG can't support transparency. I just want you to see this. And there's the file. So if I open that up, there we go. No big surprises there. There's no transparency, but just so you know, if you do have transparency in your Premiere Pro project, it will actually just fade to black. So if we actually want to export out the transparency, let's go back into that same option as before. But instead of JPEG, let's choose PNG or ping file just here. Out to the desktop, choose OK. And there it is just there. If I open that up, now it looks like it's fading to white. So let's open this up in the better program. Let's open this up in Photoshop. And sure enough, there's our checkerboard pattern, which is showing that that is indeed transparent. And just to really hammer the point home, I'm going to add just a solid color fill below that. And you can see that is indeed transparent. Very nice. So let's jump back into Premiere. Uh, so that little option just there, guys, the export frame button is fantastic, but you can see we didn't get a lot of control over, for example, the quality of the JPEG. So if you want to take a finer control of your frame export, you want to come up under File, Export Media. The keyboard shortcut is Command or Control M just there. Now this is the same place you would come if you were going to, for example, export out a high quality, say QuickTime video, if you're here on a Mac, for example. But in this case, let's actually export out maybe a JPEG. I'll just show you the settings in a minute. I'll export out a TIFF actually. But if you come down here to the video section, have a look at this. We've actually got a quality slider, which we didn't have access to before, which is very nice. And also, this is a very important checkbox. You always want to be keeping an eye on this one. This has tripped me up before. If this is on, export a sequence, every single frame in your video will be exported out as, in this example, a JPEG. So keep a very close eye on this one. Also guys, you can, at this very last minute, also change which frame you would like exported out just using this timeline just down here. So we could easily export out a JPEG, but let's try something a little bit different. Let's, for example, export out a TIFF. And you can see the settings just in here. Again, we always want to be double checking. See this exporter sequence is on, so make sure that's turned off. And then you can see there's some of the different settings you could set inside of here, but I'll just run with the defaults. Choose export. And there's our TIFF file. So if I double click to open that up, we see it fading to white again. So I'll close that and open that in Photoshop. And fantastic, there's our transparency again. Just proving that to you, add that solid color throw that in below, and there is our transparency indeed. So if I can do Premiere Pro there, guys. So most of the time, you can just use this little camera icon, the export frame option. But if you want to take greater control, remember File, Export, Media. That's it, guys. Hope it helps.